All righty, howdy, year 11s. Now, what I'm going to do is run through our first assignment, which we've started uh, last week, uh, which is our AT2 part one, the investigation and design. So this is our major portfolio. This is what you're going to use to plan, investigate and plan your major product. Um, the reason we're doing it now is because it is a large assignment, so we're going to break it up into small parts. So if you haven't joined the Google Classroom, please do that. That is our Google Classroom code. Um, join that, then go down to AT2 Part 1, Investigation Design. Now you're going to have a few different documents on here. What I want you to do is uh, have a look at the assignment sheet if you want to, but what I'm going to do is go through the portfolio because this has what every, everything you need um, to fill in in here. So yours will be up here somewhere, but for me looking at it, it looks like this. So when that opens up, we've got our front page. Just put your name and your SACE number. Um, first one, if you don't know your SACE number, don't worry about it, uh, but it's a good habit to do, um, especially if you're going to choose this subject next year. Okay, our design brief. So this is what we're aiming to complete. Um, so uh, this is, imagine this is like your question in research projects. So everything that we do back here uh, all relates back to our design brief. So we can go through this later. Um, it's I'm not expecting you to know exactly what you want to build right now. It'd be good to go and have a look at some ideas of what you want to do. Um, so just do a quick Google search of like coffee tables, bedside tables, that sort of stuff, but framed furniture. So you're looking at legs and uh, rails. So let's just go like coffee, let's have a sort of coffee, coffee table. So what I'm talking about is legs. So things that go down like this and rails. So something like that has like lower rails and legs. Something like this has rails at the top there. Okay, that is a frame. So legs and rails, we're looking for horizontal and vertical members. Something like this is not. Okay, so that is like a cabinet. We've got a box there. So that's not what we're looking for. All right, we'll get back to it. Okay, so this is where you'd write in what you want to do. I intend to make a blah, 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 so we place blah, blah, blah. And then we've got some considerations. Um, so we're going to make it a high quality design, contemporary. It's going to be constructed professional standards, suitable for intended location. So that's where you would tell me up here where you're going to put it. Um, Functional characteristics, so yours may want to have some sort of special thing with it. Um, like it needs to have a lower shelf to house magazines or something like that. So you might want to do something like that. And constraints, so this is what we're working within. So using the construction techniques developed in the class so far, so what I'm going to teach you and the time available, six weeks. The availability of workshop equipment and time and the cost of materials so provided by the school so these are the things we're going to go back to and relate to when you're doing all your investigation down here all righty so i'm going to stop the video there and then the next video will go into the investigation of analyzing existing examples and required machinery okay